is Meg Daly, and I'm founder and president of Friends of the Underline. And we're leading an initiative to create a 10-mile linear park, urban trail, and living art destination below Metro Rail. Beginning with Brickell, right here, Brickell Backyard is going to be our first demonstration. Today we're unveiling four incredible temporary artworks that we've created a party for people to um, enjoy. Hi, I'm Debbie Wexler. I head up the art advisory for The Underline. My committee and I are super excited to bring world-class and local art to the city of Miami. Public art engages everyone. We're going to have interactive pieces. It's going to engage young and old. It's, it's what Miami needed. It's what we need at this stage of our urban development. Um, a much needed project, and I'm looking forward um, to it being completed. Honestly, have fun. Just have fun with it. Make it more, more vibrant, then a lot more people would um, want to come around it. So my name is Amanda Sanfilippo. I'm the curator for Art and Public Places for Miami-Dade County. And today we're celebrating the launch of the inaugural artworks, public artworks on the Underline. And the Underline is this amazing not-for-profit um, organization. They're going to be, throughout the next couple of years, helping to um, activate this whole path that goes underneath Miami's Metro Rail. Right behind me you're seeing Nicholas Lobo's piece, which is called Brutal Workout. It's a participatory sculpture that's actually traveling between the different stations on the Metro Rail. Mobile radio station, it's a live broadcast um, at radioee.net. She's interviewing dozens of individuals about transit and asking their opinion about how they move through the city. Each one of the eight stations along the underlying Bhakti Baxter has these beautiful sculptures that incorporate tropical plants. Connects two different things, the urban, the arts, the people, and kind of brings them all together. Hi, I'm Arden Carson, and I'm on the executive board of the Friends of the Underline, and I head up fundraising. Uh, the Underline is an amazing project that's going to be transformative for the city of Miami. Then we're also working with Naomi Fisher, who just down, down the, the pathway here at the Brickell Station, she has a beautiful installation and sculpture which incorporates ballet dancers. It's actually a ballet bar and dancers are dancing upon it. It's an artwork made out of two polished stainless steel laser cut metal pieces that dancers are reflected in when they perform with the artwork. It's a sculpture that's meant to be existed with, performed with, photographed with, played with, and really meant to kind of have the interaction of the audience. Um, I think it's really important for Miami and the city to have something as monumental as this, you know, in our backyard, literally, of Brickell and starting here. So it's exciting times. The Underline is actually a great enhancement of our Metro Rail system. Uh, right now we have the M path, which is a little known path underneath, underneath the Metro Rail Guideway. Um, and the Underline group is helping us turn that into this fabulous facility for recreational activities, art, uh, community gathering. I'm George Abbott. I work for the Knight Foundation and we are a big supporter of the Underline. We've given uh, two different grants to the Underline. And this is, this is exactly the type of project that Miami needs if we're going to become a more livable, more walkable, more bikeable city. I think the underline will bring a great sense of safety, security, it will connect the whole city and give it a heart. So anything that brings the community um, pretty much together, getting them active, getting them playing together, taking transit, biking, walking. I'm definitely all about that. Music to our ears, safer, reliable connectivity. The underline 